You've got to know when to work smart and not hard. See, a lot of people work hard. And don't fall for the okie doke when people just tell you, oh yeah, all you got to do is work hard and then you'll succeed. You got to know when to work smart and not hard. Let's imagine. You guys see trees all around me right now. Let's imagine that we all went into a contest and chopping down one of these trees, right? You have a hammer. Somebody else has an ax. I have a chainsaw. Who wins? Now, you might feel like the answer is obvious, but why don't we up the honey? Why don't we raise the stakes and say, you are five times the worker that I am. You, we all have the same tools. I still have the chainsaw. Who wins? A lot of you will still say that I win, even though somebody is out working five times as harder than me, simply because I have a better tool, simply because I have a better system. A lot of you guys are watching my videos and you want to do a lot of great things, but you don't realize, especially when you're starting from the bottom, that there are people that are in this world that are not winning because of the fact that they're smarter than you, because of the fact that they work harder than you, or any other reason you've resigned yourself to think and believe on why people should be ahead of you. There are so many people on this planet right now that are getting ahead simply because they have a better tool or a better system on how to get there than you. And that's the thing that I want you to recognize in this video. You got to know when to work smart and not hard. See, I want you to do something after this video. I want you to start thinking about what are the best tools that you can use in your life to help push you forward towards your goals, right? If everything is a struggle to you, you got to ask yourself, what's the better tool? It's not just about hard work because there's only so many hours in a day. And eventually it comes down to a point where you have to know how to be more efficient. See, if you're the hardest worker in the room, but you're not the smartest worker in the room, people can get more done than you in half the time. That's what you got to be able to know how to do. You know, when I first started trying to be productive and getting a lot of things done, I would just spring out the bed every single day, you know, ready to take on everything. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And it was all in my mind. And then somebody had to kind of explain to me, well, you know, how do you know what you're doing right now is the number one most important thing if you don't have it written down in a to-do list? See, if you don't have any structure behind what you're doing, you're really just getting up and you're taking yourself wherever the wind blows. And time is too short for you to take yourself wherever the wind blows. See, you got to go into this life with a strategy. And you got to work smart towards that strategy. There's not enough time. The world is too competitive for you to just do whatever you want to do. This is the reason why sometimes they have a famous saying that says, you got to know how to work on your business and not work in your business. Sometimes you got to be willing to take a step back and say, you know what? I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot of forward motion. I'm doing a lot of running right now. But I'm busy and not productive. I'm doing a lot. I'm breaking a sweat. I'm getting really pumped. I'm feeling like I'm doing a whole lot. But I have little to show for it. Why? Because maybe you're majoring in minor things. I'm doing a lot. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. But you're finding yourself in a treadmill existence. You're running. You're sweating. You're feeling the pump. But when you look down, you're in the exact same place. So here's one of the things that I want you to do for any activity that you find yourself involved in. Ask yourself, how do I get the maximum amount of results out of this activity? For anything that you find yourself doing, ask yourself, of all of the many things that I have to do, what's the number one most important thing that if I got myself going down this area, if I got myself going down this path, this would change the game for me. See, in life, there are a lot of errand runners. 
there are a lot of people who do the exact same thing that they've been doing yesterday because in their comfort zone it doesn't feel like hard work it doesn't feel like they have to be stretched outside of themselves to get things done but if you want to be somebody that changed the game you have to know the secret to change in the game the secret is be a hard worker but don't be a dumb worker right don't be a hard worker on an easy job be a hard worker on a hard job and before the job gets started put some brain power behind it so that way when you get done working you work smart and you work hard but the smarts come before the hard see if I'm chopping down a tree and the only tool that I have in my life was a saw before I even start cutting away at the tree I gotta take so many hours just to sharpen the saw and I know I'm gonna beat the person who spends the entire time just chopping it down because they were using a dull instrument so leave me a comment tell me about a time where you felt like you were you know putting in a lot of work at something and you were going and going and going and going but you never really realized you know what there's a better method of doing this where if I just took a step back if I just took some time to just think through the problem not forward motion not activity if I just took time to think this would make things this process this approach this strategy would make things ten times better it would make me ten times more effective it would make me ten times more impactful it would make me ten times more successful if I just took a slight pivot and how I was adjusting it see you can be in a fight a lot of times and one hand is your jab hand and the other hand you're throwing a straight right but you're so busy throwing your left at every single thing that you're doing you're never realizing that if you would just switch arms that's where the knockout will come leave me a comment below feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more vlog videos be sure to check me out on snapchat the urban money let's change the world